Ever wondered how your favorite tomato ketchup is made? It's a question that might have crossed your mind as you squeezed that vibrant red sauce onto your burger, fries, or scrambled eggs. Tomato ketchup, or simply ketchup, is a staple in kitchens and restaurants around the globe. From America to Asia, from Africa to Europe, this tangy condiment has won hearts and satisfied taste buds, adding a burst of flavor to a vast array of dishes. But what's the story behind this culinary superstar? How does it go from a humble tomato to the glossy, richly flavored sauce we all know and love? It's not magic, but a fascinating process of harvesting, cooking, and bottling, all performed with precision and care. So if you've ever found yourself curious about the journey of a tomato to a ketchup bottle, you're in for a treat. Let's embark on a journey to discover the secrets behind the making of this tangy delight. It all begins with the humble tomato, ripe and ready for picking. The journey from vine to bottle is an essential one, and choosing the right tomato is paramount. It's not just about the reddest or the roundest. The perfect tomato for ketchup is firm, full of flavor, and has just the right balance of sweetness and acidity. These tomatoes are typically harvested when they are at their peak ripeness, usually in late summer or early fall, when they have absorbed all the sun's energy and are bursting with flavor. Harvesting these tomatoes can be quite the task. Many farms still opt for the traditional hands-on approach where workers meticulously pick each tomato by hand. This method allows for a certain level of control, as workers can assess the quality of each fruit on the spot. However, it's a labor-intensive process and can be time-consuming. Enter modern technology. Today, many larger farms employ the use of cutting-edge machinery to speed up the process. These mechanical marvels can gently shake the plants, causing the ripe tomatoes to fall into a collection bin. It's an efficient process that allows for a larger yield in a shorter time frame. But the work is far from over. Once picked, these tomatoes go through a rigorous sorting process. This is where the unwanted elements are removed, think green tomatoes, leaves, or any other foreign materials. The tomatoes are also checked for any signs of disease or damage. It's a crucial step to ensure that only the best tomatoes make it to the next stage. And what about the ones that don't make the cut? Well, they don't go to waste. These tomatoes are often used for other products like tomato paste or juice, where their physical appearance doesn't matter as much. With the sorting process complete, the chosen tomatoes are then thoroughly cleaned. They're washed and rinsed, removing any remaining dirt or debris. It's a final check before they embark on their journey to become the ketchup we all know and love. Once sorted and cleaned, these tomatoes are ready for their transformation. From the field, our tomatoes travel to the factory where they start their transformation. The journey to becoming ketchup begins with a good squishing. Our freshly harvested tomatoes are introduced to a crushing machine, their first acquaintance within the factory. This machine is not as brutal as it sounds, it's actually quite gentle and respectful. It treats our red, ripe friends with care, breaking them down into a thick, sumptuous pulp. This pulping process is vital. It's not just about turning solid tomatoes into a liquid form, but it's also about releasing the rich flavors hidden within each tomato. You see, inside every tomato, there's a universe of taste waiting to be discovered. Pulping unlocks this universe, allowing the flavors to mix and mingle, creating the base for our delicious ketchup. But the journey is far from over. Our pulpy mixture is then taken on a culinary adventure. It's time for the cooking process. This is where things really start to heat up. The pulp is cooked at a carefully controlled temperature. This isn't just any random boiling, oh no. This is precision cooking. The kind of cooking that breaks down the tomatoes even further enhancing their natural sweetness and tanginess. But there's another crucial reason for this cooking process, safety. The heat from the cooking kills off any bacteria that might be lurking in the pulp. It's our way of ensuring that the ketchup you love is not just delicious but also safe to consume. The result of this cooking process is a concentrated tomato puree. It's thicker, richer, and more flavorful than the pulp we started with. It's the heart and soul of our ketchup, a testament to the power of transformation. With the cooking complete, we are one step closer to our beloved ketchup. After all, every bottle of ketchup is a story of transformation, from fresh tomatoes to a pulp, and then to a concentrated puree. And the story is far from over. Stay tuned as we delve into the next fascinating stage, the addition of spices. But what gives ketchup its distinctive taste? Well, that would be the delightful blend of spices and other ingredients that are carefully folded into the cooked tomato pulp. It's like a secret recipe that adds a unique flavor to this beloved condiment. Some of the most common spices used in ketchup are onions and garlic. These two are like the dynamic duo of flavor, 
adding a savory depth that complements the sweetness of the tomatoes. Then we have vinegar. This is what gives ketchup its tangy kick. Its sharp flavor cuts through the sweetness, providing a balance that's essential in a good ketchup. Now let's talk about sweeteners. Most brands use sugar but some might use honey or even corn syrup. This sweetness is crucial in taming the acidity of the tomatoes and vinegar, making the ketchup more palatable. And we can't forget about the spices. The blend can vary from brand to brand, but some common ones are allspice, cloves, cinnamon, cayenne, and mustard. These spices add a subtle warmth and complexity to the ketchup, giving it layers of flavor that go beyond just sweet and tangy. All of these ingredients are carefully blended into the cooked tomato pulp, creating a harmonious symphony of flavors. It's a precise and delicate process, ensuring that each ingredient shines without overpowering the others. And there you have it. Those are the secret ingredients that give ketchup its unique flavor. It's these secret ingredients that make each brand of ketchup taste slightly different. We're on the home stretch now. After all the pulping, cooking, and spicing, we've arrived at the next crucial stage, straining. This process is a bit like sifting for gold, but instead of precious metals, we're looking to filter out the seeds and skins that have served their purpose. They've given their flavor and nutrients to the mix, and now it's time for them to bow out. The straining process is meticulous, ensuring that what's left is a smooth, velvety mixture that will eventually become the ketchup you know and love. But before we get there, we have a few more steps to tackle. Next up is sweetening. This is where the ketchup gets its signature tangy sweet flavor. Sugar is added to the mix, but not just any sugar. We're talking about a specific kind of sugar that's perfectly suited to balance the acidity of the tomatoes. It's a delicate balancing act, a dance between sweet and sour, each trying to outdo the other but ultimately working in harmony to create that distinctive taste. But what's a dance without a little kick? That's where vinegar steps in. The addition of vinegar not only contributes to the overall flavor profile, but also acts as a preservative, helping your ketchup stay fresh for longer. Once the sweeteners and vinegar have been added, it's back to the stovetop for the final cooking process. This is where all the flavors meld together, forming a symphony of taste that's more than the sum of its parts. Now, onto the grand finale, bottling. This process is as important as any other, ensuring that the ketchup is hygienically packed and sealed. The ketchup is hot filled into sterilized bottles, which helps to kill any remaining bacteria and extend the shelf life. The bottles are then sealed tight, locking in all that delicious flavor. And just like that, we've transformed a humble tomato into a bottle of ketchup. Each step, from straining to sweetening, from cooking to bottling, has been carefully thought out and executed. It's a process that demands attention to detail, a process that turns simple ingredients into something extraordinary. And there you have it, from field to bottle, that's how your favorite tomato ketchup is made. So, now you know the journey your favorite tomato ketchup takes to reach your plate. It begins with the careful cultivation and harvesting of ripe red tomatoes, these fruits of labor are then transported to a processing facility where they are washed, inspected, and transformed into a pulpy mixture. This pulp is then cooked to perfection, concentrating the flavors and enhancing the natural sweetness of the tomatoes. But it's not just about the tomatoes. Various spices including onion powder, garlic powder, and the secret ingredient, clove, are added to give the ketchup its distinctive taste we all know and love. The mixture is then strained to achieve that smooth consistency and sweeten just right before it's finally ready for bottling. Every bottle of ketchup you see on the supermarket shelf or on your dining table represents hours of effort and precision. Next time you squeeze that bottle, remember the journey it's been on. Enjoy your ketchup and until next time stay curious.